welcome viewers first let's discuss the flow of the video in this tutorial we will discuss and learn what are unsymmetrical folds and basic theory of unsymmetrical folds and then design the SLD for our fold analysis and in the second part of this video we will discuss separately single line to ground fold, line to line fold and line to line to ground fold so if you already know the basics of sequence components then you can skip this part but we are also designing the SLD in this part so you can directly jump to the SLD part of ETEP on the other hand if you are a beginner and want to learn from the very beginning then follow this video from the very beginning right from here and also follow the next tutorial to get a sound understanding of unsymmetrical faults in the power system unsymmetrical faults on three-phase system those faults on the power system which give rise to unsymmetrical fault currents that is unequal fault currents in the lines with unequal phase displacement are known as unsymmetrical faults there are three ways in which unsymmetrical faults may occur in a power system one single line to ground fault LG. 2. Line to line fault, LL. 3. Daub line to ground fault, LLG. The solution of unsymmetrical fault problems can be obtained by symmetrical components method. Symmetrical components method. In 1918, Dr. C. L. Fortescue, an American scientist, showed that any unbalanced system of three phase currents, or voltages, may be regarded as being composed of three separate sets of balanced vectors. 1. A balanced system of three phase currents having positive, or normal, phase sequence. These are called positive phase sequence components. 2. A balanced system of three phase currents having the opposite or negative phase sequence. These are called negative phase sequence components. 3. A system of three currents equal in magnitude and having zero phase displacement. These are called zero phase sequence components. The positive, negative, and zero phase sequence components are called the symmetrical components of the original unbalanced system. Let us now apply the symmetrical components theory to an unbalanced three phase system. 1. A balanced system of three phase currents, IR1. IY1 and IB1 having positive phase sequence, that is R, Y, B, these are the positive phase sequence components. 2. A balanced system of three phase currents IR2, IY2, and IB2 having negative phase sequence, that is R, B, Y. These are the negative phase sequence components. 3. A system of three currents IR0, IY0, and IB0 equal in magnitude with zero phase displacement from each other. These are the zero phase sequence components. Consider three phases A, B, C, and subscripts 1, 2, and 0 are generally used to indicate positive, negative, and zero phase sequence components respectively. 